Hey you! Today we're gonna show you how to run samples on the AU680. I can't take credit for that, that's Jaquel's joke. Anyway. You are so lame. I, that's why I blame Jaquel for it. So today we're gonna show you how to run a calibration curve on CO2. So we're gonna calibrate CO2. Pretty much the, the methodology works for all analytes. And then we're gonna go ahead and show you how to run a sample. All right, so right here we have a CO2 sample reagent bottle. In here, we have a sample reagent reservoir, and we're gonna put it in the reagent wheel because that's where it goes. We put the pizza lid on, and let's go to the software. Okay, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna click on the menu list. And then when we're in the menu list, we wanna click on um, reagent over here to the right. Let's click on that guy. And we're gonna be calibrating CO2. So as you see here, it's gonna be a serum sample. We're gonna do reagent check on the bottom right here. So let's click reagent check. And you can say you wanna check all positions, but in this case, since we're just doing CO2, we're gonna click check specified positions. I said check specified positions. There you go. And then you click on CO2 and you click okay. And then na, 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 na. So that's done. So we now look at the CO2. Let's go back to the main menu and let's go back to the menu list. So from the menu list, let's now do a calibration. So, so let's go to rack requisition first and let's specify a rack requisition sample. So this is where we put the uh, calibrators in. So let's go to calibration. Um, we're gonna be calibrating CO2. So um, as you can see here, these are highlighted and then you wanna hit display cup set. So this is where you specify where you put the bottles. So we have two racks, you have a blue rack and a yellow rack. The blue rack is where we want the DI water and the, uh, the yellow rack is where we wanna put the different calibration points. So you can see here, blue rack, yellow, yellow rack. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's fill them up. So let's see here, we got the water in the blue rack first position and then for the second position you can see it the positions were highlighted on the screen we're going to put the the different calibrators the water is filled water goes in and then we're just going to drop her the rest of the stuff here so we're going to drop her the the two different uh, calibration points let's hit close and let's hit the play button up top and then let's go back to the menu list. Let's go to calibration. And you can look at calibration monitor if you wanna see the status of the, the calibration. So here's a history of our calibration points that were done in the past. You can see that there's a nice little audit trail of all the CO2 points that were done beforehand. So now we can run a sample. So now that the calibrations curve is done, let's go start entry. So let's click on start entry. You have to select CO2. So we're gonna be um, running a sample based on this point. And then we wanna go ahead and name the sample. In this case, we're just gonna name it ABDA. Okay, so here we have the rack. This is the sample rack. The white rack is a sample rack. I don't have actual samples, so we're just gonna put calibrator in here, but you get the picture. That's gonna be you know your patient sample, serum sample. Put in the sampler and then we want to hit entry and then we want to hit start. And then. And then you hit on routine and you go to the sample manager. And if you click on sample, you can see all the analytes that were run for the one patient. If you hit test, you'll see all the tests that were done for the one analyte. So in this case, since we're just doing CO2, it's gonna be the same for either, but that's how you see your results. So pretty simple, right? Pretty straightforward. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. That's how you run a calibration, and that's also how you run a sample. Stay tuned, we have more videos on how to run clinical instruments. So if you have a clinical lab or you're in a clinical lab and you want to see more videos, let us know what kind of videos you want to see, and I'll do my best to make them. And if there's any instruments that you're interested in, let me know. Um, I'll try to get my hands on one and create more content for you. That's it. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.